Hey everybody, it's the Ionic guy. That's it. $7,500 tax credit here in the United States is history. So if you didn't already get an Ionic 5, an EV6, a GV60, no more tax credit for you. So yesterday afternoon, President Biden signed the Inflation Reduction Act, the IRA, and with the signing of that, the IRS issued its new criteria for qualifying for the tax credit, and what we knew was going to happen, happened. Going forward, as of the signing of the bill, all vehicles to qualify have to be manufactured in North America, and there's a list of cars that might qualify. And the only car that's really comparable to the Ionic 5 is the Mustang Mach-E. So pretty much the only cars available for the tax credit that aren't plug-in hybrids are the Ford Lightning, which doesn't compare to the Ionic 5 or a small crossover. The Mustang Mach-E, which is obviously the biggest competitor probably on this list. Uh, Nissan Leaf, which is being discontinued. The Lucid Air, which is a hundred plus thousand dollar car, and they're pretty much making none of them. And the Mercedes EQS, also another hundred thousand dollar plus car. And if you were going to be looking at any of GM's options, like the Bolt or the Cadillac Lyric, none of those apply either until 2023 because they've already met their 200,000 car cap which means that won't take effect until the new year. So for the next four months, your options are pretty much nothing. Tesla also doesn't qualify until next year because they've met their 200,000 car cap. So options are extremely limited now. And in reading the comments over the last week about how this was kind of going to go down, um, some of you were going to go out and try to get purchase agreements some of you were going to try and get EV6s, and I've had a few people tell me that they settled from the Ionic 5 for an EV6. And I don't know if I haven't heard anybody picking up a GV60 since they couldn't get an Ionic 5, but it's all around just generally bad news in terms of people who wanted to get a car this year, needed to get a car this year. I understand in the long term this is going to really push manufacturers to building again in the United States using U.S. sourced materials, which is not a bad thing, but it could have been phased in differently. I know a lot of these overseas manufacturers are pissed off because this is going to severely affect their business. They were banking on these cars getting the tax credits and they based what kind of content was in these cars on that price point that they were able to meet with the car. And there's some people saying that this violates trade agreements between the U.S. and foreign countries, which is entirely possible because this is limiting Americans' choices, and it's kind of saying F you to these other companies who make fantastic products. This is the electric car to buy right now. With its 800-volt charging, I mean, no car comes close to this in its price point. If you're somebody who needs to road trip or take any drive outside of the range of this car, being able to charge to 80% in 18 minutes is just the best thing in the world. And I've been doing a lot of road trips this summer, and I can attest that if I had a Chevy Bolt that took 45 minutes to charge, 50 minutes to charge to 80%, I would be not having as nearly good of a time as I have with the Ionic 5. So for those of you who do want a cheaper car, the ID4 that's going to be manufactured here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, is probably going to be the next best option. If you're looking for a car similar to the EV6, the GV60, or the Ionic 5. And with this new North American model they're going to be producing, it'll be able to charge up to 170 kilowatts. So it's definitely going to be faster charging than the previous ID4. So it could be a good option, but if you're set on the styling and the charging speed of the Ionic 5 or EV6, you're not going to want to go to anything else. So unfortunately, this is just the compromise that the uh, U.S. Congress had to make to get 
Joe Manchin signed on. And don't get me wrong, anything that can help possibly reduce climate change is good and what's needed right now. So it's a step in the right direction. It could always change in the future. We're going to see in January how the new laws are going to be phased in, what manufacturers they're going to affect in terms of battery cell manufacturing and whether their cars will meet the criteria to get the full 7,500 because just because you manufacture in North America doesn't necessarily mean you'll get the full 7,500. If you don't meet the battery manufacturing criteria, then you'll only collect half of that. You can take some solace in the fact that a lot of states have their own incentives. Here in Connecticut, you get over $2,000 for a vehicle under 50000 which unfortunately doesn't include the SEL or the limited trims of the Ionic 5. So if you get a base model SE Ionic 5 here in Connecticut, you can collect a little over $2,000 in terms of a rebate. And that's cash on the hood too. Most of these state incentives are cash on the hood, so you don't even have to worry about including it in your tax return. I just wanted to let my viewers know, if you can't afford the car without the tax credit, then you're going to have to stop your search now or look elsewhere. So if you guys have seen my shirt in this video and the hat, I found this Etsy store called Fire Phoenix Art Design, and he has some cool designs like you see here. If you'll notice, this mimics the charging lights behind the charge port door. And he sent me these, and I wanted to show them off in the video. He has this design, and he also has another design that has a silhouette of the Ionic 5 on it. And the shirts and the hat are available in different colors, and the material's high quality, so I just wanted to give a shout out to Fire Phoenix Art Design, and if you're interested in purchasing any of his items from his Etsy store, there'll be a link down below in the description. So with this unfortunate news, people are going to have to change their plans, so leave a comment down below and let me know what your plan is forward if you haven't already gotten your car this year. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody. So if you're anything like me, you were probably disappointed after you purchased your Hyundai Ionic 5 and realized that there was no overhead storage for your sunglasses. So I solved that problem with the Hyundai Ionic 5 magnetic eyewear holder. It simply clips onto the magnetic area next to the driver display, and your sunglasses go right onto it. These are 3D printed in PETG and will not soften in the heat of your car. They utilize a one and a quarter inch rare earth magnet that keeps them securely on your dashboard and a strip of Velcro protects the frames of your glasses. These will work well with thick plastic frame glasses such as Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but not so much with wire frame glasses like aviators. These are available for $20 plus shipping at the link below in white or black. Thanks for checking them out.